Hey, what's up guys? Synapse here. This is going to be a new tutorial series. I'm going to show you all the techniques I use in my videos. Some people told me you shouldn't share your video editing secrets because other people are going to copy you. Synapse doesn't keep any secrets. I'm going to show you exactly how I do it. I want to give you guys all the tips and tricks that you need to make these videos. Let's get started. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to export your model from WoW Model Viewer into Cinema 4D or any other 3D program like 3D Max. So I open up WoW Model Viewer and the first thing I want to do is I'm going to find Synapse on the WoW Armory. I'm going to copy the URL from the WoW Armory and I'm going to go to the Character tab and select Import Armory Character. And I'll paste the URL right there. And WoW Model Viewer automatically retrieves the model of my character. Here I can deselect the hair. Sometimes the hair glitches out, so I can remove those. Here I don't want the cape to display, so I unselect that. It's up to you what you want to select. You can modify your model here. So now let's go to the export options. Go to File, Export Model, and select Export Options. Here I'm going to select Wavefront OBJ. So Wavefront OBJ is selected. That's the format I want to export to. And there I deselect Preserve Directory Structure. I check the boxes like this. Now go to the File menu, Export Model, and select Wavefront OBJ. Uh, select the folder that you want to export to. Here I make a new folder. Name it Synapse. And I click Save. It says Export Completed. Alright, let's check it out. So I go to the folder I just saved to. There's all the files. There's the .obj. I double click on the .obj to open it in Cinema 4D. Here I select 10 as the scale and I basically just click OK. You can adjust the scale to fit your needs. I successfully imported a 3D model into Cinema 4D. Now let's take a look at the textures. By default the textures are not working yet. So I have to go in here to the material editor. I just double click on that material and I select color and I select the texture. I click on that texture tab and now it lets me manually select the texture. Here I'm looking at the shield material. So I select shield. I do it for mace. Do the same thing for plate and helm. And then finally human mail. Once you match all those texture files to the materials, then your character should be complete. And here I just save it as a C4D file. And that's pretty much it for the basics. Each of the 3D objects is saved individually. I can drag them around. This is basically the technique I used for Swifty's Legends of the Arena intro. And if you want to, you can also rig and manually animate your character. I haven't really found a fast way of animating the character, so I've had to manually animate the character in Cinema 4D by rigging and adding a skeleton. So if you guys figure out an easier way to animate these characters in Cinema 4D, let me know and we can collaborate. Here's Chinglish. Here you can see I added a camera, some lights. Just to show you the effect of the light, I changed the light to red and blue. And so you can see, you can actually change the lighting to get the effect you're looking for. All right, that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and let me know what you think in the comments. If you like this tutorial series, please subscribe. Next, I'm gonna show you how to import these character models into After Effects and integrate these 3D models with WoW footage. Alright, see you next time. Good luck and have fun.